Hello everyone and welcome yet again to another Max Talk Talk. Today joining us is Dr. Pradeep Chaube, Chairman, Max Institute of Laparoscopic, Endoscopic and Biatric Surgery here at Max Healthcare. Hello doctor. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us today doctor and today's topic is quite interesting. We are talking about the next generation robotic surgery for common and advanced surgical conditions. So doctor please let us know what is the next generation in robotic surgery. Well I think as the name itself suggests the next generation is that we were using the previous generations of the robotic systems for surgical uh, interventions now we have got a new generation which of course uh, is the recent advancements in the technology and uh, this uh, system uh, called versius from CMR uh, Surgicals uh, Cambridge UK is a separate system because it has got all the uh, the hands mounted on a separate uh, base unit that means all the uh, arms robotic arms can be moved uh, from one place to another place and also in from one location of the operation table to the another side of the operation table that makes it more versatile next major uh, advantage is that uh, the console on which uh, the surgeon is sitting is an open console that means he can communicate uh, with each and every member the previous generations had the head put in uh, uh, in a console tunnel like console but this is an open console so as a surgeon you know i feel very comfortable moving around and also i can see all the monitors anesthesia monitors and all parameters of the patients i can communicate with my team i can communicate with my uh, anesthetist and uh, other uh, paramedical staff so it gives me uh, a great uh, uh, opportunity uh, to be more comfortable with my console another advantage is that uh, instead of sitting on the chair i can operate by standing because this console goes up and that way uh, it gives me even a better way to operate if i want to operate standing thank you doctor doctor um, now that we understood the next generation how they are different than the previous generation robots the question here is what is the difference between between laparoscopic and robotic surgery well i think you know uh, almost 30 years back when we were doing conventional surgery and the laparoscopy came in so we moved on for laparoscopic surgery so what happened that uh, the conventional surgery is the three dimensional surgery and laparoscopic surgery became two dimension surgery so we lost one important dimension in laparoscopic surgery now with the robotic system we are very happy that we have got that third dimension back in laparoscopic surgery so it is a laparoscopic surgery when you do it with robot we get as a surgeon the third dimension also and that is almost uh, i would say going back uh, in time 30 years back when we lost the third dimension now we have gained that third dimension with all added advantages of laparoscopic surgery minimal pain very good uh, um uh, cosmetic outcome and that way we are uh, very very happy about it when we uh, moved from conventional surgeries 30 years back to laparoscopic surgery we lost one dimension uh, so the three dimensional surgery became two dimensional surgery now with the robotics coming back we have all the advantages of laparoscopic surgery but the greatest advantage which is there with robotic surgery is the third dimension so we are operating with three dimensions uh, and also the advantages of laparoscopic surgeries are there like minimal pain uh, excellent cosmetic outcomes early recovery and good uh, post operative uh, management so this way uh, robotic system has really brought the third dimension which was uh, very much needed for all of uh, laparoscopic surgeries Thank you so much doctor doctor now that we're talking about surgeries and robotic and laparoscopic surgeries we discussed but that brings the question what all surgeries 
can be performed using this system? Well, I think the previous uh, generations of robotic uh, systems were mainly used by the oncologists and uh, the urologists, mostly for the malignancies, the cancers, uh, etc. But now with the this next generation versus uh, robotic system, we are able to not only do the complex cases, but also are very conveniently doing the common surgical procedures. For example, gallbladder surgeries, hernia surgeries, surgeries for obesity and uh, weight loss uh, management and uh, fundoplications. So practically all the laparoscopic surgeries can be now done with the robotic surgeries with the added convenience and uh, precision as well as accuracy and increasing the safety because of the third dimensions which we have got it now with the system. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor, um, what are the unique advantages for to patients, for our viewers who are watching today? Well, I think, um, as you know, any technical advancements gives the surgeon more opportunity and better options to provide a safe surgery to the patients. The precision, it increases the precision. Of course, uh, uh, it is uh, much more convenient for also the surgeons because of the third dimension. We don't have to judge or uh, take our own decisions regarding the placement of the clips, placement of the staples and also dividing the structure where exactly needs to be divided. So I think it's a, it's a great advantage uh, uh, in terms of adding the patient safety and uh, precision. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor, um, now coming to the precautions, what are the pre and post operation precautions that need to be taken after the next end robot surgery? Well, I think the robotic surgeries, uh, we have seen a little lesser pain as compared to the laparoscopic surgery. We have seen the surgical duration also is reducing because uh, of the robotic movement. The Another advantage is the instruments, they have a larger range of movements because uh, in human being, the wrist is a restricting factor, it's got a limited movement. But the robotic wrist gives us wide range of movement and that is also a, a great added advantage for finer movements uh, of uh, the surgical uh, procedure. Thank you so much, Doctor. Doctor, now coming to the question that everyone, because majority of our people are, you know, technology ke saath hamesha dar rehta hai. So the question here is, is robotic surgery safe and how much control is there with the surgeon? Well, I think uh, I, uh, I'm very confident that the robotic surgery is far more uh, safer as compared to the laparoscopic surgery because robotic system itself has got an inbuilt safety uh, features and mechanism. For example, if the instruments are not seen by the camera, robotic camera, then the whole system freezes. That means that it can prevent injuries. So I think anything which is not moving or anything which is malfunctioning, it, it uh, as a safety mechanism, it actually freezes the whole system. And that is a very welcome sort of uh, uh, quality of uh, the system. Thank you so much, Dr. Doctor. Now that we've understood the advancement, the robotic surgery, how uh, the advantages are, what are the precautions and how much control there is in the surgeon's hand, anything else you'd like to tell our viewers today? Well, I think uh, I, I'm very passionate about training and teaching. And what I have realized that with the robotic system, there are inbuilt training mechanisms like for the pilots as we have got simulators. So with the robotic system, there is a, a, a separate uh, simulator on which all surgeons can practice till they score good marks. And I would say that it is precisely like the flight simulator. It exactly duplicates and replicates everything which can happen inside. So our younger colleagues can really practice a lot and secure good marks before they actually venture into the robotic surgery. 
so i feel that training and teaching becomes simpler and while the the surgeon is operating the uh, younger surgeons can be there because it's a open console they also get all the view and they can also learn with every case just by watching it and then practicing with the simulator and then only uh, doing it uh, on the patients and the various training set, uh, systems are available with this modern uh, gadget thank you so much doctor and uh, before leaving i'd like to tell my audience that in case you have any questions please note them in the comment section down below and we will discuss them with the doctor and get back to you in case any of you are interested to have a one on one conversation with a doctor you can call on the number that is on the screen or click on the bitly link in the description and you can connect with our doctor once again thank you so much for joining us for today's amazing life doctor thank you very much for being with us and i'll see you guys in the next time goodbye